FD-60 EX combustibles folks combustibles now before you start you need your calibration gas bottle the one we recommend is 50% LEL today I'm using 15% if you have 25% if you have 55% if you have 45% from another company it's okay just make sure your gas is balanced with air okay very important I repeat no matter what level you use it should be balanced with air. We recommend typically, typically 50%. That's what we sell. That's the recommended gas bottle. Today is an anomaly. It's a special video. It's 15%. Okay, now you have your regulator at the top of the bottle. You have your tubing and you need your cap. We sell these as a sold separately item to the FD-60 warm out unit. Now, okay, before we put this on, make sure the unit has got fresh air. It's in a place where fresh air has refreshed the sensor. Give it about 30 minutes, folks. Make sure that it is fresh air. It's got a good baseline to zero. Once that happens, grab your remote control, press zero on the remote control, bang, and press OK, bang, and then it'll say save succeeded. Okay, folks, pretty easy. Look, I'll do that again. Zero, and then I press OK, and then save succeeded, okay? Pretty straightforward. Nothing to it, okay? Nothing to it. Now, let me zoom out here. Next, <clears throat> we grab the cap, as I mentioned, screw it on, and this cap is used to deliver the gas to the sensor head, which is right over there. Okay, when that's on, go back to the main menu. We start all fresh, we've got a baseline, that's zero, and we're gonna pop our tubing onto one of the ports, this is the end port, and now obviously that's out port. Make sure that you have the out port flowing out because we don't want to build up pressure here, folks. That is not good. The partial pressure of the gas will increase beyond what we have in the bottle. That would not be good. So make sure you're keeping a better flow of about 0.3 to 0.5 liters per minute. I'm going to turn on the gas, and I'm going to let that run, okay? I'm going to let that run for a good 60 seconds. I'll be back. Now, this unit is reading just under. It's reading 14. I know I have 15% in the bottle. So let me zoom in and I'm going to tell you how to calibrate step by step. Now, grab your remote control. Press enter. OK button. OK, enter. OK. Go down to number five. It's called Cas Galib. Press enter. Then, once that's done, click in enter. So you go into edit mode. Press edit on the remote control, it's the top button. And press one, 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 one. And then press the middle button, okay. And that will let you go into the calibration menu. Then you have number two, EX. Select EX, that's the sensor that you wanna calibrate. And over here, people get confused. Now, it's got STD1, STD2, STD3. This guy, we have programmed it for a three-point calibration. Now. I don't recommend doing a three-point calibration for normal usage, okay? We must calibrate at the last point, STD3. Now, in this case, as you could see, it says edit. If I want to change the third, let's say I have a 50% gas bottle. I will click on edit. I will scroll down. Excuse me. I will go across. See my cursor goes across. And on this last line, I will enter the concentration of my calibration gas bottle. If it's 50, if it's 25, if it's 45, you enter it here. Today, it's 15. One, five. Okay, enter. So now I have entered my last STD three point, the third line, as my calibration reference gas. Press okay. Let's go next. And as you could see, I need to calibrate, I need to take that down, down, and we will press enter on this line. We're going to calibrate it on the third point. That's what we mentioned. It's 13. I'm going to press enter. Bang. It succeeded. It's got 15. You see that, folks? It was 13. I saved the point, and it went to 15. And again, I repeat, we're doing it on the third point. Ignore one and two. Ignore the first two lines. We want a simple 
two point calibration. Our first point was our zero, and our second point is what we're doing now. Internally, you see the three lines, and you will go to the last line. Simple as that, folks, simple as that. Pop it in, press save, and right now we're good to go. Look, we've got a stable reading, it's staying at 15, and Bob is your uncle, folks. That's what we say down under, okay? Let's scroll out, and once I'm done, turn off the gas, take the tube off, take the cap off, and we have a nicely calibrated unit ready for fresh operation. Let's go back to the menu, bang, and we are there. Now, it will take some time for that to come down, depending on your concentration used. Make sure it goes to zero. Here and there, if it does flutter around one and two, one and two, you may have a noisy environment, that's fine. Keep it zeroing until you get a good stable zero, okay, folks? This guy is ready to rock and roll. Be well, be safe, and see you soon.